Local government is claimed to be a small world where everyone knows each other. All the more reason for those within it to be mindful of conflicts, be they actual or perceived. This investigation arose out of complaints from whistleblowers involving two senior staff at Ballarat City Council. They alleged that the two officers, one of them the CEO, had engaged in improper conduct by hiring or advancing the careers of their friends and associates. Allegations of nepotism are damaging for many reasons, even if they are not substantiated. They damage the individuals complained about, as well as those who were hired, who for no fault of their own, may find the merits of their appointment called into question. They damage the reputation of the organisation and the morale of those working within it. And ultimately, they damage public trust in the integrity of government. I found that a director had been improperly involved in recruiting three former colleagues or friends to senior roles at the council, had changed a position description to suit one of them, and had chaired a tender evaluation panel that selected a friend's company as their preferred supplier to the council. The allegations against the CEO were not all substantiated, but I did find that she was involved in employment decisions regarding a friend and an associate. This was unwise and may have been improper. The assertion that those hired or advanced were the best people for the job cannot be tested when process is not followed. I've made two recommendations. Senior officers must lead by example. They set a culture in which acceptance of poor practice can become the norm. Ultimately, I hope this report serves as an example of why conflicts of interest must be acknowledged and managed appropriately.